getting platinum in the Peak Gun Summit, unlocking the Porsche GT4 Wasp Edition. What's going on? My name is Sid and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be going into the Peak Gun Summit. And this one's a weird one because this is the first ever summit during my actual content creation year here on the channel where i've actually like properly been making content since the chase this is the first ever rerun i've ever done and well it's a weird one because it's not a rerun of the summit it's a rerun of the car but we're going to be unlocking the wasp edition today the gt4 of course it came out originally with the flying german summit i'm very glad that they've done this actually made it at least a different summit so you know at least something's different but of course let's just actually go into the game and here we are grab your boosts and keys this week is all about rally and off-road get behind the wheel of your favorite ride and climb your way up to the pikes peak mountain as fast as you can to earn the special porsche cayman gt4 wasp edition yes boys the wasp will soon be ours of course one problem with that and that is that the wasp is already ours but it may not already be yours so i'm going to be going into the summit today and showing you just how to do the peak dance summit so you can do it on your own and i'm gonna show you all the all the little tips and tricks i can on the uh on the summit here today and just be playing it myself you know i mean of course i'm gonna be streaming it tonight as well i'm live every night at 5 p.m to 9 p.m British standard time currently. Here is the hypercar plane summit, 103rd. I wasn't, I was just kind of here for this one. We're finally getting a full boosted, no, another full boosted hypercar set. I've wanted that again for a very long time, but there we go, because we've only had one uh, in the past. Now I can have two cars maxed out with Nitro Chemist. See, Lightfall comes up there. Eh. Uh, the new summits are coming soon because they're for the next episode. And here we go. Oh, yes, there's two escapes here today. But first, let's go into the aerobatics. Here we go. Does it want to show up? Of course, I'm using the Harman Rocket HR3 with these parts and these pro settings. Here we go. Aerobatics. Aerobatics isn't the worst. Aerobatics gets a pass. I mean, You'll probably see my stick drift go crazy because, especially in low altitudes, my stick drift does not like to behave. And, okay, okay. What it does is it just joins the plane down sometimes. Okay, that's annoying. And that, that means room for improvement. Okay, how was that not a plus 200 perfect? Okay. This game is rigged. See? See? Oh, this is a very... Sh that's that strict drift, <laughs> stick drift I was talking about. There we go. You know what? It's a very short low altitude, so I don't know if uh, that like loss of points will make any difference. But I can definitely do a lot better. You know what? We'll try it here once. I won't just rob you lot of all of the content. But most of it will be in the stream tonight. Because I'm going to be replaying everything. But it's in aerobags. Let me get a perfect here. Get myself in the mood of the summit. There we go. Okay. I Wait, did I get the end checkpoint there? Did I not? Was that worse? How did I miss the end checkpoint? Okay, there we go. But I don't know if that was better than my last score. But I, 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 I don't know what kind of snail pace I was going at in that last one. There we go. 2,000 extra points. Maybe I need a faster plane. But you know what? <laughs> With the new platinum being 11,000. There you go. We are now platinum. That is about it from me in a bit. My heart spills. Yeah, this uh, this new platinum is, is is interesting. Now, when it comes to escapes, I am a man who likes a good Alpha GP car. Now, the 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 runs I've seen of the escapes have been in tall hypercars. Sorry. Here we go. Now, do you want to start on the? God damn it! You want to start on the opposite side, and then I believe it's right over here. Okay, how do I manage that? Okay, not that direction. That direction. Okay, a bit more. Ah, no, that, that's still not the right direction. Ooh. Okay. Okay, the one problem I find with Alpha GP instead of Hypercar is Alpha GP slows down a lot off-road. What we want to do is we want to get to that road that you can see right there. Right underneath the N for north. That road is the one we want to be putting on our blinders. So just, I uh, no! Damn these trees! Not all of us can have exploitive third-party NVIDIA softwares to make the game look like it's on Minecraft textures. I'm looking at you, PC players. Almost. 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 
Thank you. There we go. Once you've made it here, at some point or another, you want to switch over to this road. If I can make it, I might lose this. Speed! Come on! Oh, this is such a garbage run. No! Okay. I've made it onto this highway. But this is such a bad run right now. Seems like it's one of those very slow zones. So we should be all right. Goddamn cube cars on the way, on the road, on my roads. And this is actually one of those escapes that goes on for so long that it actually, you just reach the end of the map. Hey, you see this road on the right here? You want to go on it. Right over here. Okay, maybe don't jump. Oh, traffic. I don't drive. <laughs> I'm fairly certain... I just... I don't know. I don't think I... Uh, let me go. Okay, well, that's done me in there. But I completely have no idea where I was meant to go. But that score should... There we go. 150k. If you manage to get through there a bit more distance, that will max out your score entirely you will 100% get a fully maxed score with that. So, do, do that. Okay, and now we're at the Rockies Escape. Now, another long one here as well. Now, this one is basically just like the last one, where it's a very far one that then... Well, it's on the top of this, I assume, Pikes Peak. And it, it, we jump off Pikes Peak and then end up in some highway somewhere at the bottom of this mountain. Let me try that again. Here we go. Uh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> there we go. Believe it or not, Alpha GP cars don't handle the best off-road. Here we go. And just pelting it off this mountain. Now it's an aim game. It, uh, it's like trying to aim a loose cannon. Jesus. Rocks. There we go. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that one. Okay, carry on. So you see that highway that sticks out of this highway. You just want to get there, basically. Here we go, let's take the little bit of extra traction we can from the dirt road. And there it is. Now, I'm fairly certain we go left. I remember going left. Here we go. Uh, of course, of course there was. Of course there was. You know, why wouldn't there be? That's just my traffic luck. Um, uh, there we go, we were cutting that a bit close. Of course, I'm going to be getting much cleaner escape runs on my stream tonight. But yeah, there you go. Now you know where you're going on this one as well. This is it. Okay, I could be going a bit faster, wouldn't mind. I don't, I can't tell if I'm outpacing it or we're at the same speed as it. Or maybe I'm only outpacing it when I nitro. If I hit anything, I'm instant getting caught right now. Like, maybe that? There we go. Yeah, that's what I like about Alpha GP. You can just instantly get back up to 280, 70 instantly. Yes, it's a slightly less top speed than uh, a hypercar, but you know, like I said, I like the instantaneousness -ness of it. Okay, this is a weird turn. I don't know how I feel about this one for an escape. Losing a lot of yards there. I don't, I, uh, okay, I don't care. Turn, thank you. No! What is it? But I, uh, 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 uh. Okay, maybe sometimes Alpha GP cars don't turn. Okay, no. <laughs> they don't need to. That one was full score maxed. There you go. That one wasn't even like 7k less. That one was that. That one wasn't even this one. That one was a full max score. Ooh, Focus RSRX. Can you use the Glow Motorsport Edition? I, it doesn't seem like you can. That's a shame. I feel like they keep doing that. I feel like so, whoever designs the Summit never got told that you can't use exclusive cars in the Summit anymore. It's a very off-roady Summit, which means they're gonna need a, we're, we're gonna need a lot of off-roady cars, which means parts are gonna be moved around of a of, of heavy bunch. Which I'm never really a fan of. I don't like the Summits where I have to move my parts around through seven different cars. Which is, again, another reason I'm very happy we've got these extra Nitro Chemist uh, hypercar parts. Here we go, and of course it is Ski Jump. 
used to be a race that has a lot of fun shortcuts in it. Now it's the race that I know is having just the one shortcut in it, which the one that's still left is the one that I found the most inconsistent shortcut in any game. I mean, that may be a bit of hyperbole there, but you'll see what I'm talking about. It's actually coming up now. What you're meant to do is the... Uh, it, uh, a minute. Here we go. Okay, bring it round, bring it round, bring it round. What you want to do is this. Okay, third time's a charm. So you want to go a bit slower leading into this cart, right? And there we go. That's what you want to do. That saves. Uh, 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 um, uh, what, what shortcuts was he taking? Um, well, you guys saw that, right? Well, uh, uh, uh. Um, okay. Hey, I'll see if I can hit this cut back to back. I don't know what shortcuts that Lancia was taking. There we go. Okay, very weird cut to make. And there you go. It's actually all right if you finally do it like that. I was doing it quite poorly those first few times. But yeah, you've seen the cut. You've seen a run. The rest of the run is basically simple. So there you go. I'll skip to the end and show you the time. Here we go, there's the finish. I, it's a weird one because I don't know where to use Nitro. I'm, I'm so unsure on where to use Nitro. There we go, that seems all right. Oh, 120K score. I'll take it. I mean, I'm gonna improve it regardless. Ah, and the stage six, Pikes Peak to St. Louis. Here we go, and the Land Rover Defender. I already know this one's going to be a long one. Here we go. This is a boosted rally cross set. I'm about to transfer over to the Land Rover Defender once I find it. There she is. The, it's still customized exactly like I had it in the video for the for, for when this thing first came out. And these are the pro settings I'm using. I don't... I, I, I honestly, I don't know how long these pro settings have been on here. They're probably the right ones, though. I assume we had to use this thing in a summit before because, yeah, like I said, no idea where I've gotten these. Here we go. The camera's looking nice. Now, I'm not sure how this one's going to go. Okay. This is already interesting. Uh, ha. Huh. <laughs> now, I was wondering how um, Rally, Ra Rally Raid would translate into these events. Okay, these are chill. These are wide. This feels more like a Mario Kart track than a rally raid. Almost. Thank you. Okay, this is quite cool, I guess. I mean, I would say most specs, all specs have worked in quite nicely with this uh, a, a new event type. I mean, this is all right as well. This one's definitely a lot more of a, a lot more of a I, I don't even know what to call it. The last one actually felt like competitive stages. This one is just slipstream. Oh, I've managed to hit a wall there. But yeah, this is this one is uh, quite horrendous. Oh, a jump. Okay, we've only had that and one other. There we go. And I believe it was the start of the last one that we had it. I mean, it's quite nice. The turns are satisfying. The turns are very satisfying. We haven't had any outrageous turn yet that's like a 90 degrees. The chicanes are kind of funny because we went from those like little like tiny node chicanes where it was just a straight road But they added a little bit sticking out either end for touring car. Okay oh, That was a bit weird then for alpha GP We had the entire track just curving the whole time and for this one the chicanes are just massive Like might as well be a football field instead of a chicane a bit of curving tracks though still but you know what? Uh, considering they're rally raid cars they are, again, yeah, like I said, very satisfying turns. And, of course, there's not really any shortcuts to show in this race either. So, I, a lot of from now is probably going to be car. There we go. And we've hit the finish line just like that. Now, uh, apparently, we did it in under 4 minutes and 41 seconds. We did that by quite a bit. Points-wise, 130k. Definitely very nice. But, I mean, I can 100% do a better one there. This is a very easy event to get a perfect run on. There we go. For Rally Raids, it was pretty boring, if anything. Huh. Why are people using the Focus RS, huh? What? I mean, I'm going to do it in the Ford Raptor because the Ford Raptor is, to my knowledge, the best Rally Raid vehicle. And of course, with those same Rally Raid boosted parts, like I said, this is why I don't like 
summits where there's a lot of events like this because I have to switch the parts around. But of course, the Ford, Raptor, Evo, One, and Force Unit. This is the best rally raid vehicle. And here we go. Okay, here we go. Now, the, the sentiment seems to be just, just going wide. Now, this one, we definitely want to be going wide because that turn, if you hit that straight on, it ends up turning left very abruptly. So you want to be ready for it to do exactly that. And then a massive tight turn. Well, not exactly massive. Just a very tight turn to then bring yourself in to go around going wide. Through all of this curvy bit here. You don't really want to associate with any of the curves. Okay, I, I've lost where I'm going. And there we go. I'm just going to assume we go through here. Where is the... There we go. Okay. And then through here, of course. This one's pretty simple. Just beeline it for the checkpoint. Here we go. Now, do remember, for this one, you want to go insanely tight somewhere. There it is. Here we go. Right here at 50%. And then you can just plow off of this mountain here. Once we... There we go. And hope you get good tree luck. That's what you call bad tree luck. I mean, it's a lot of what Rally Raid is, is... It becomes just pelting. There we go. This is where you wanted to get from that mountain. It's just pelting yourself off mountains and then hoping you get good tree luck. I know we're meant to go right here. And there we go. And slotting in right around somewhere here. There we go. And there is the finish line. Trees. Uh, I, yep, I was literally sideways. There was so much like just sheer mass to be able to be here at least when i'm facing forward this there's there's less of me going towards the trees when i'm sideways i'm literally just like so much surface area let's see how that run was oh oh that's a pretty high scoring run okay that's not bad that's not bad it's not bad at all okay oh there's an air race oh and we have to do it in the Harmon rocket no so much parts switching this summit okay now what on earth has my good air race parts on it here they are let's switch these over to here there you go oh are you serious oh wait uh uh are you I. What if I wait? There we go. Okay, that bit. Don't know how that or why that fixed. What kind? What game? What? What am I doing here? What is? It's interesting that they chose the Wasp Edition to be the rewards for a off-road hikes peak summit. I feel like as the bundle shows in the bundle for the Porsche, I think the reward for this summit originally was supposed to be the Ford. That's top, that's tier 49 in the uh, motor pass. I feel like that was originally meant to be the reward for this summit. Because when insider information started coming out about, you know, what, what all the leaked cars were, it said that that Ford was a, 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 a mo it was a summit car. And then all of a sudden we see it in tier 49 and then we see this Porsche come here. Now, of course, I like... Oh, okay, stick drift. Stick drift is so annoying. Like, I mean, I... Some people are like, oh, Sid, what's your opinion on the Wasp coming back? Are you mad? I, people can have it. I, I, I don't own the Wasp. I mean, it's, it's, it's Porsche and then, more importantly, the Ivory Tower distributing it. I'm surprised I got a nice there. The stick drift is making this incredibly painful. But the Wasp is to whoever can get it from the summit. And even though 11,000 people are now going to get it, which I still feel is dumb... I, I'm not exactly against, because, I mean, I'm still going to get, like, top 100. Stick drift, please! But I feel like using the Wasp to just throw the other Summit car you had into the, into the motor pass, and then using the Wasp to just buy time? Okay, uh... What even happened there? Okay, it's gonna be a bad run. I might improve this on the on the stream. They are essentially just using the wasp to buy themselves. Like, there better be some good cars coming out in the next three weeks because this has been a whole this second half, a second month of this uh, season M episode. It seems like it's going downhill very quick. Because I don't see reruns as like, oh, now the car's gonna be not rare. Like, yes, it will as well. But I'm not complaining about that. I'm not sat here like, oh, god damn it, them bringing back cars. Uh, the thing I'm more annoyed about with reruns is, okay, 
That's now our whole extra month. They've put no work into getting a new car. Here we go. Let's go into the rally cross race with the Lancer. It's Glacier Park. Now, this is a... Now, this is a funny race. It's a funny race for all the wrong reasons. See, the Crew 2... Uh, and now, it's quite good for console, this race now. Or old gens, at least. But see, the Crew 2 recently added uh, in their quality of life patch. They added that a lot of shortcuts had been removed from races. And if you play this game, you know this is the shortcutting race. And see, so now what's happened is, I guess I'll show you once we get there. Here we go. See, this whole section here used to be an absolute just cutting and respawning mess. It was grab a checkpoint, go straight through. Grab a checkpoint, aim for the next checkpoint, and still just go straight through. Okay, there I could have gone straight through. You'd grab this and then just beeline it down that mountain into another checkpoint there. But now what it's become is just an absolute checkpoint mess. Because obviously they can't just reroute the whole race. And it's not exactly meant to be a rally raid race. So it's now just so many checkpoints. Especially, like, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I know there's races that have multiple laps in Rallycross. This honestly might be contending for one of the most amount of checkpoints in any Rallycross race. Okay, that checkpoint is not where I thought it was. Oh, well, that worked. And I mean, after that, it's just sort of a... It's, it, there's nothing special after that. You just kind of pelt it up the mountain. And then once you get there, you just pelt it down the mountain. All the cuts and everything are very simple because there is none now. Ooh, do be wary though, at 89, like 90% here, you want to go to the right. That is a very weird turn. You can manage to go up that mountain uh, uh, very often. And then here, there you go. Just use up all your nitro, beeline it, checkpoint, done. 304, that's probably quite bad. It was a pretty bad run, but we're still going to get a decent amount of points. There you go. Also, a very curious thing is that this summit, there's no there's no lone vehicle event. We are remaining in the Lancer, of course, going into this last final event. But yeah, no actual lone vehicle event, which means people who don't have the wasp don't get to test it, which I guess makes sense, but that means that, like... I don't know, it's weird. I feel like they could have at least added... I, I guess they assume because so many peop people already have it that it wouldn't make sense to make it... I guess it wouldn't work to make it lone vehicle because for half the people who already have it, it wouldn't be a lone vehicle. And then the people who have it can just put parts on it and then use it like that. Putting those who already have the car at a very heavy disadvantage. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, and this is just Pikes Peak. Oh, this is from last uh, week's new events. Oh, this isn't even that bad. Pikes Peak might as well just be a rally stage. Pikes Peak is a very cool street event. A very cool street event that, again, like the last one, has no shortcuts anymore. You used to be able to cut that whole thing. You used to be able to cut this whole thing on my right here, you can see. There was a checkpoint up here. You'd run out the mountain, collect this checkpoint, and then just respawn. There is, however, one shortcut that has survived Pikes Peak. Okay, nice. And that one being... Oh, uh, yeah. And this one. There you go. <laughs> See, you don't have to slow down, like, with the brakes or anything for the turn. You can just plow into that checkpoint, and then boom, you're there. Careful around this bit. This is a very awkward bit to get around. There we go. Not as awkward as this next bit to come up. You never want to overshoot here, because you'll end up in the little rocks there and get clotted there. I overshot there. Nice. Okay. I completely oversteered. The objective's not even gone around the corner yet. There we go. That's Pike's Peak. That's the final event of this summit as well. Uh, still very tired. Very, very tired. Of course, could always use some improving. Probably some slipstream as well as these are ghosted events. But that puts us at 174th in the Peak Dance Summit. And that will be heavily improved on tonight as well as throughout the week. In my streams, as I play it on stream, I do man hunts, I do car meets, I do all of that stuff on stream, PvP, you can join that. So do check out my streams as well. But that is the Peak Dance Summit. And of course, a thank you to popular members, a thank you to a special thank you to famous members, and an insane thank you to icon members for the love of life and Sid Wadge's daddy. <laughs> but that is about it from me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video because I enjoyed making it. We're going to be using the Porsche 
regardless throughout the week. I'm whacking it in every thumbnail because you lot want it. But is it in a bit? Shirt. Sorry, tell me if it's real or would you leave me in the dirt?